Griffin, welcome to Grizzly Heat. Man, what's going on, guys? I hope your week has been going well. Mine's been really busy. Tests, doctor's appointments, um, doctor's appointments for the dads, um, just doing a bunch of honeydew stuff. So it's been really busy. Um, hence the reason I haven't made a video. Um, but I've been having these for, well, over a week. Um, probably about two weeks now, maybe even longer. Um, Uncle Bull Cow, Chris Pantalone, sent me these. Um, he actually sent me three, but I've still got a little bit of the Monster Mash in the fridge. And his this one is, is all, all this is uh, Mrs. Bull Cow's res, uh, recipes. Um, she added some stuff to some of his existing sauces, like the Monster Mash. I want to finish it. I actually just found it was in my fridge. I didn't know it was there. Uh, it was in the back. So I don't want to open that one until I finish that one. That's kind of how I roll, especially if it's the same kind of sauce. Except for it's a little different that she added some other stuff. I'll, I'm going to read to you guys what these are. Um, so this is Mrs. Bull Cow, and it's really cool. You guys see it signed. And love the color of this and the label. Really cool. Uh, Miss Chastity, thank you so much uh, for you and your husband for, first of all, you for this. And I like the signature and for Chris for sending it to me. Really appreciate that. You guys don't know how much. Um, but this one, is, I'm going to try first. It's Mrs. Bull Cow's Blueberry Butt. Like boot, Jalokia, B-H-U-T. So it's really not butt, but boot, um, Jalokia or ghost pepper. So you guys know what that is. Um so this one is really cool because it's got our organic blueberries, uh, acai is what I was told is how it says, not a kai. Um, elderberries, ghost, pink tiger and golden boot, peach boot, purple gator jigsaw, golden boot and lime juice. It's similar to Uncle Bull Cow's blueberry boot, but with acai and elderberry. Your m mother smelled of elderberries actually it's your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries to be correct but it misses mother i know whatever um anyway this is similar to uncle bull cow's blueberry but but with acai and elderberry so um i'm not sure i've had one other sauce that had elderberries in it but it was um mixed with a bunch of other ingredients and berries so I don't I couldn't really pick out exactly what it tastes like I've never eaten just an elderberry so I can't tell you but I've eaten blueberries and one of my favorite sauces is a blueberry sauce but I'm not going to mention that one because it's about this um so let's get into this really quick um shake it up pretty good um I like how it's signed it was really cool sure appreciate this and uh you know I'm gonna tell you guys something if you've not had Uncle Bull Cow sauces. You need to go check it out. There's a link in my description box. It's always there. Um, check it out. I'm telling you, it's got amazing sauces and does a lot of fermentation. Uh, but some of them aren't very strong. Um, and you know, I know some people are like, I don't like fermented sauces. Try his. His are different. They're not. Um, and fermentation can be kind of bitter sometimes, and it's got that a little bit of that funkiness. And I noticed that his is well balanced. Uh, so I got to give him credit for that because he does a really good job on it. So anyway, let's get into this blueberry boot. Man. First thing I smell is the blueberries. A little bit of vinegar. I'm not sure what's all in Let me read this again. Definitely getting a little bit of the citrus. This is very unique. Well, we're going to taste it. We're going to see what it... Here, here's another reason I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm looking for another uh, ice cream sauce. I'm almost out of the one that I really love. So I was like this. I bet this is going to be great on ice cream. So let's check it out. Love that consistency. Love that color. Oh, man. A little bit of chunky in there. Perfect. This is Uncle Bull Cow's Blueberry Book. I'm Red Griffin Grizzly Heat. Stay spicy, pepper people. Wow. That's got some good heat. 
It's not overly sweet. A little bit of tart to it. Man, that's good. That's really good. Good job on this one, guys. Heat scale. It's hot. Um, Lady Grizz isn't eating this. No way. If you're a non-chili head, you're not eating this. If you like hot stuff and like pushing a little bit, I'd probably say it's probably about a five. Um, middle of the road. Maybe even a six. If you ate enough of this, it would be even hotter. I had two spoonfuls, and I'd probably say it's about a six. It's a good job with that one. Definitely hot. It's not on your lower end. All right, so now let's get into this one. This is Uncle Bull Cow's limited edition mole. Mole, mole. A lot of Mexican food here, and I love mole. I love chicken mole. So let's read what's in this one. So limited edition. Organic cocoa powder, clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, guajillo, chili, seven pot primo, habanero, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, onion, roasted garlic, and black garlic. This is an exclusive Mrs. Bull Cow original. So, original. They didn't make this after a different sauce or add something. Like, um, this is a little different version of um, Chris's sauce. This is Mrs. Bull Cow's version of it. This is... Her, her sauce, her her exclusive sauce. So let's get into this one. Oh man, I love mole. We eat a lot of tacos here, and there's a lot of food trucks. And um, you know, I love the fact that all this stuff is available to us. We eat a lot of different kinds of food, a lot of nationalities here, and a lot of food to go with it. So, um, but I love mole. Just so you guys know. So I'm super excited to try this. I had a couple of mole sauces, and it takes a lot to make a really good mole, so. Oh, man. That smells amazing. Mmm. It's hard to pick up everything. There's a lot going on in the sauce. I smell the lime juice. I smell the vinegar. And a little bit of the garlic. I'm trying to see if I can read it and pick it up, but there's cloves and cinnamon in this. I'm gonna have a hard time picking it up. Nutmeg. Oh, enough of that. Let's try it. Looks like a, a little bit of a thicker sauce than the last one. Definitely a little bit of a thicker sauce. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Give this a shot. Mrs. Bull Cow's exclusive mole. Love the color of this. Definitely getting the cinnamon, definitely getting the cloves, taste the garlic, I'm getting the vinegar, hint of that nutmeg on the finish. If I would have smelt this and not read the ingredients, I wouldn't have got it. Like if it was a blind taste test and they said, what's in this sauce, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have got it smelling it. Um, but I can tell you tasting it, and it's probably because I know got some chunkies in it oh man hey, look at that beautiful color a little tang to it and it's the that's the lime juice and the vinegar 
definitely getting the nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, and the garlic. Not overly hot. This is going to be oh so good on some chicken. Oh yeah. Oh. Anyway, I got to wrap this up. You guys go check out Uncle Bull Cow. Um, like I said, a link in the description box. It's also on Instagram, Facebook. Not sure. Um, YouTube. It's got a YouTube channel too. Um, really cool people. Him and his wife making great sauces. Um, collaborating with some challenges. He's just a really good guy. Um, Chris has been a big supporter of the channel, and I appreciate you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, thanks for sending me these. Sorry it took so long to get to them, but I can tell you what. I don't think I'm going to hang on to these too long. Um, this one, heat rating, probably for me, maybe a two. This, because it's got so many ghosts in it, I said it's probably a five or a six. It climbed up, so I would say six or seven on the heat rating on this one. But both of them are very unique and very delicious. Um, I like them. Good sauces, guys. Um, I am actually have some chicken in the fridge. I'm going to put some of this on it, and we're going to try it out and see. Um, I'm going to try this on a little vanilla ice cream tonight. So both of these will be eaten today on food. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope your week's going good. Um, I got some news last week that wasn't the best, but, you know, I went to a big conference um, it's a big uh, Christian conference uh, hosted by Derek Carr from the Raiders here in Las Vegas and a bunch of guys there. And it was just, they're just speaking life into the guys and uh, telling them what to focus on, you know, not to focus on, focus on negativity. Some of the same things that I talk about on the channel. Look, I'm not here telling you what to believe. I'm telling you what I did. I came away refreshed um, just because I know that like a lot of the things you can let social media get into you. Somebody might say something and uh, you take that to heart. And sometimes when we do that, it influences how we act to others and to how we act to the others, the people we love. And how we act, like how do we react to something like that can change our personality a little bit. And I'm going to tell you something. You are made a certain way. Try to stay true to that. Don't let things change your personality. Um, the biggest thing we can do is react positively to anything. And sometimes it's not easy. I can tell you what I heard last week, it wasn't good news for me. Um, but you know what? I didn't let I didn't dwell on it. Um, something that I've heard before, I didn't sit in my mess. So if you sit in it, you're going to get it all over you. But if you, you hear it and then you process and move on. And look, positivity is key, man. I'm telling you guys, for me it is. I don't know about you, but um, the whole garbage in, garbage out. You know, you watch a bunch of negative stuff, you listen to a bunch of negative stuff. You're going to have negativity is going to come out. It doesn't even, you don't even know that you're doing it. I can tell you that's what it does for me. Um, hopefully that's not you. You know, maybe it's not. But if it is, positivity, you know, immerse yourself in the positive things and, and people being positive about stuff and um, try to treat others like you want to be treated. And guess what? You know, your, your problems seem to go by the wayside. And you know what? Maybe you're an encourager. Maybe you've been through something and you can share that with somebody else. Um, our story is very unique. Each one of us has it. No one can deny that. But you might see or meet somebody that's going through something that you went through. You know, I'm getting a little older as, a, you know, some of you guys know. Um, so I've, I've walked a mile on the earth. So I've been through some stuff. Um, not saying that other people have been, haven't been through it. I'm just saying that, you know, my perspective, the older I've gotten, has been better. Because of some of the stuff I've been through. I know that, hey, it's not the end of all things. Um, you know, there is hope. Um, you can turn a corner. You can make uh, good decisions. There is still stuff that's out there that is positive. Um, but if I focus on the negative stuff and sit in it, like I said, sit in my own mess, then, you know, um, it really messes with me. But the older I get, the more I realize that, hey, this is just another thing. And you know what? We got through that thing. We got through the thing before that. And we got through the thing before that. Or I wouldn't be here. So just think about that, you know. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your patience. Uh, like I said, really busy trying to make some videos, um, but doing what I can. Uh, thank you, Chris Pant. Got to do it like a Chris Pantalone. Thank you for uh, the sauces. I really appreciate it. And uh, Mrs. Bull Cow, um, I'm loving them. I'm loving your line of sauces there, lady. You are really doing a good job. 
and um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting the channel and all you guys that are watching this right now. Um, wouldn't be doing it without you. So you guys know uh, from the bottom of my heart, I love every single one of you. And as always, stay spicy, pepper people.